If you're thinking of taking a trip to North Norfolk, there are plenty of beautiful towns and villages to keep you occupied. Some highlights include visiting Norfolk Natural Living and Make Holt, the brilliant Tuscan farm shop in Burnham Market, epic views of Holcombe Beach, and finally dinner at the famous Suffield Arms. We arrived in Holt early that morning and made a beeline to the best bakery in town. Two Magpies is located in the center of Holt and has a wide variety of things to eat and drink. I grabbed an iced coffee and chocolate Florentine. Both were pretty delicious. What does it taste like? My dad loves Florentines. So this is for you, Dad. The bakery also had a nice selection of local products, including some locally made cheeses. After the bakery, we came across a beautiful store called Make Hold. Make Hold features products created by local artisans from the region. Got the work here of um, over 70 independent local makers from Norfolk and nearby. We're really passionate about promoting artisan skills, local craftsmen, um, and trying to keep things as local as possible and support local businesses. So for an artistic person, it's a fantastic place. There's lots and lots of inspiration here. There's even a little lobby. Yeah. This way, I want to have a look at these candles, come on. Look at this, how beautiful is this? I actually haven't seen a candle holder like it. So stunning. What do you think about these ones, or these ones? We ended up picking up some beautiful handmade ceramic bowls, and Jibs made a few friends as well. Across the street from Make Holt is a group of three stores collectively called Norfolk Natural Living. We had reached out to Bella, the founder of the brand, to tell us more about our sustainable and locally made products. We um, hand make um, all of our products in um, our workshop in Norfolk, uh, it, all in small batches and we use locally uh, sourced ingredients and where we don't use locally sourced ingredients we use British suppliers. A special hot chocolate jug. <laughs> we were really impressed by everything we saw at Norfolk Natural Living. And if you're looking for natural alternatives to, say, cosmetics, toiletries, or even perfume, this is the store to visit. <laughs> You're at this point, we were ready for some real lunch and drove down to Burnham Market. Our first stop was number 33, a bakery that also sold local products. We're trying to get more and more Norfolk products in here at the moment, but everything we sell that we don't bake in here is all Norfolk, so... Amazing. Yeah. We bought some Norfolk fudge to snack yeah. on later. Next door to the bakery, we wandered into a fishmonger to ask about the local seafood. The fishmonger was super friendly and even fed Jibs his first sprat. We shared a dressed crab outside the store, much to the amusement of the fishmonger, and took home some locally smoked salmon, which I might add was pretty delicious. Is it appropriate to eat lobster on camera? <laughs> the smell of freshly baked focaccia led us down the square into another local restaurant called the Tuscan Deli. Chibs was immediately greeted by the warm and wonderful staff. And we've actually just landed um, because the smell was so amazing in this little Italian deli, um, a Tuscan deli. It's stunning and it smells amazing. And we sat down to enjoy a delicious pumpkin soup, focaccia sandwich and the most fabulous, fabulous porchetta. This cafe was a piece of Italy in the heart of North Norfolk and the deli was a highlight of our trip to Burnham Market and comes highly recommended for lunch or all day snacking. To burn off the morning's calories, we drove a couple of minutes to Holcomb Beach. Ever since we visited Cornwall last year, we've discovered that our dog loves the beach and we couldn't wait to take him to this one. Parking was easy and straightforward and we walked up some wooden stairs to arrive at a massive, expansive beach. It was certainly a bit cold that afternoon, but luckily the sun was out to keep us warm. We flew the drone to capture some beautiful imagery for this travel guide and Jibs made a couple of friends along the way. Have a watch. There's a new day that will come again tomorrow. There's a new day to 
wash away the pain There's a new day to take away your sorrow In the old ways I get washed out by the rain Darling, you to keep holding on through the night Cause I promise you this A few hours later, we ended the day at a much recommended gastro pub called the Suffield Arms. Like the Gunton Arms we featured in our Norwich travel guide, the Suffield Arms is part pub, part art gallery. Jibs was really tired by now, but found some energy to say hello to our neighbors. The food was really interesting. Local ingredients with Spanish preparations. Should I try a bit? They're good beans and they're really dilly as well. Mm. <laughs> to learn more about the beautiful Airbnb we stayed in and explore Beach our Norwich travel guide, click the video below. Thanks again for watching. See you on the next one.